Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the continuation of Pandemonium, the Pandemonium Raids. The, what were they called again? Uh, Asphodelos, the Asphodelos Wing. We've just done the second raid, and we're going to get into the third one now. Second raid was a lot of fun, but yeah, we'll, we'll keep uh, progressing here. Get into the third one by talking to Themis. The fires of creation. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. This one looks sick. Just from the picture, it looks so <laughs> sick. While success in sealing away the hippocampus is certainly heartening, the fact that we have yet to see any other wonder, uh, waters concerns me. The key ward of Asphodelos is nothing if not cautious. Doubtless he has gathered what waters he could and retreated to a safe area. I wonder if the last boss is going to be the key warden. Let us hope so. It occurs to me that I know little of the key wards besides their magical prowess. Is there aught more you can share? Of course. A man named Hesperos is in charge of Asphodelos. Not only does he have thorough knowledge of the creatures here, but he takes great pains to be a mentor to each of the warders under his charge. He has done much to ensure that I flourished here, in spite of my ineptitude at magic, and I have always known to be the sort of man who faces difficult decisions with unwavering composure. Furthermore, he wards are not only masters of internment, they can also bend the hallways of pandemonium to their will with creation magics. With all this in mind, I am certain that no that so long as Hesperos guides them, the other warders are safe. What if Hesperos isn't safe though, bruh? Even though, yeah, 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 um, personally chosen by Lahabrea, personally vetted, yeah, 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 but what if... I can see why absolute control over the environs is imperative. Had we faced the Hippocampos upon, uh, uh, upon arid sands instead of the waterways, I suspect the battle would have ended much more quickly. In any case, if this Hesperos is as capable as and caring as you say, we would do well to seek him out as soon as we can. He has like as not taken your colleagues to a secure location. The safest place would be the innermost circle of Asphodelos. From there they could flee to Abyssos if hard pressed. Even should they have even should they have sought safe haven within the other circles, we have make for the fourth. If we make for the fourth, we ought to encounter them on the way. Indeed, and we shall gain a comprehensive understanding of the situation within Asphodels, which will be essential in determining whether we ought to continue down to Abyssos. The rub, of course, is that I myself possess no power to bend the circles to my will. Instead, we must proceed through the central corridor, barred by the Phoenix, last I checked. The Phoenix? Phoenix, I've heard this name before. Fiery bird with life eternal. What? You mean Louis Soir? Beyond unquenchable brilliance, the perfect, the perfected concept boasts nigh boundless restorative prowess, if I recall. Truly an exemplary feat of creation magics. Perfection is ever built on the back of failure, however, and La Habre has suffered countless missteps during his experiments. And he was hardly the only one. This Phoenix will be but one of many attempts at the concept gone awry. Aye, far from evoking wonder, our Phoenix is a creature of fury and wrath, and seeks only to turn the world to ash. Thus was it confined within Pandemonium. Developments of the concept con continued elsewhere, but as the moons turned, more and more researchers abandoned the project as an impossibility, save for Lahabrea and his words. When I received word that as long at long last Lahabre had succeeded where so many others had failed, I was nearly overcome. Pray, tell me, how did the waters of Pandemonium celebrate their master's accomplishment? I don't believe we did. The research of the words of Lahabre has little consequence to our time to our work here, save for those rare times it charges us with a new specimen. 
Truth be told, I don't remember anyone making note of the occasion. But enough reminiscing. We must make ready to confront the foiners. While it's possible that it flew off to some other wing of pandemonium, we would make that assumption at our own peril. Better to assume that we'll need to bring Asphodelus' most unruly subject to heel. I certainly see no reason to delay. The Phoenix of power over Fling will avail it far less in a barren corridor than elsewhere, so it may well serve us to subdue it sooner rather than later. Let's do this. Let's go fight our Phoenix. Ooh, where are we at? Ooh, there it is, Phoenix. Um, hello? Oh my god! It's him! I was right, he's evil. This fucking guy, man. What? I'm guessing there's some bigger thing than him as well that's caused him to sort of panic in a way and do this sort of like, um, you know, Eric Thelios? When he transformed himself. I'm assuming there's a reason why he's doing this now as well. Maybe that he doesn't even know that he's doing it. It seems whoever is behind this can alter the space around us at will. We face an uphill battle. Impossible. If those were creation magics at work, then that means... Let us confront that reality after we have conquered the enemy in front of us. Every drop of our focus shall be required if we are to inter the Phoenix. Alright, next raid. I'm excited for this one. A uh, big old Phoenix. The third circle of Asphodelus. What was the, you know, uh, uh, Head Warden's guy, uh, guy's name again? Yeah, I'm assuming there's something to do. Uh, let's just hop right into this raid as well. Uh, queue up for it immediately. Um, how many people are looking for it? Oh, just one party. It's okay. Um, yeah, I'm assuming that just like Eric Thonios, there's a reason why he's doing this now, that he may not even know why he's doing it, or that he is doing it. But uh, regardless, I'm gonna have to slap this bitch up. see what this fight is like. And I've got two of those uh, pants so far. Yeah, I've been farming um, Zodiac a lot. I'm at 29 uh, totems, but I've done 34 runs. Had to spend uh, one on an access uh, five on an accessory, but yeah. I've seen the mount drop twice. One I rolled like a 60, didn't get it. The other I rolled a um a 14, so yeah. 30 what was it? 34 runs and only two mount drops is just extremely sad. Here's what it is though, I'll get it. They haven't added it purchasable to shops yet, but I'll just get the 99 totems and be on my way if that's what it takes. 
And then Hydaelyn, I've done like three runs and I've gotten two of my weapons from that. I've got the uh, Paladin one as well. Fully geared out on this. Apart from the time gear. Oh, there we go. Immediately. Let's get in. Okay, so this is kind of sick. Mythic creation, the Phoenix. It's got three heads. I wonder if it's going to do one of those fire breathing things. Uh, I should probably refood as well. Is that just nice peaceful music again while we're in the middle of hell? To a degree, there's still something I'm missing. It's like it's got a robotic center to it as well. There's something I'm missing with that one. I get the orbs going around the outside, uh, parallel to the orbs that are surrounding it. But what about the one in the middle? Obviously to avoid that one that we just move into the uh, spot that the first one was in. Ah, uh, this one's get out. How we tell that? Uh, and then it gets the orb to go around the upside so we'll be ready to move into you know this spot over here is safe. That's all good. Uh, this would be the raid line, our proper tactician. Darkened fire. Um, we got some ads to burn down quickly before. Oh no, we gotta hit them with light. There we go. So the four DPS there get 
Um, those light fires. Left center wing, we've got to get to the right side of it. Yep. I just reassembled, man. Come on. Ah, uh, that's going to be a dash three. Uh, it had its middle mouth lit up there. So that's probably going to be an important thing to note. What the fuck is this there? Sunbirds. Do we stack them? Do we not stack them? We obviously have to burn them down, but... What are these green rings around? Do we have to be in the ring to attack it? Maybe? Is it like a Shin Zhao Um... Maybe we can't have the death circles? Or, or one die in another's death circle? Do they gain bonus Phoenix Fire? If they overlap, I'm not exactly sure what the circles here. Um, so those are some some things by the looks of it. AOEs, that's all. Cool. So it reached max there. So we're gonna wipe because it reached max, but what made it reach max? Do we have to... Uh, what made it reach max? Interesting, interesting. one because yeah it should go on before DPS. One, two, three and four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Right cinder wing, so we go to the left side. Alright, now we're in to the Phoenix phase. Uh, after this, charge through. Pay attention to that main. Yeah. 
and then we need to get these ones spread out too, I suppose. Yeah, that bar's going up nowhere at the moment. Four car. And then when these little fucking odd things come out, I don't know what they are. So these, those uh, little things drop AOEs. Yeah, so these drop AOEs in them. Oh, they're dead phoenixes. Rising. Okay, and so it doesn't have. Okay, so did it just get all the stats? Like, all, all the way up, and then naturally? Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I guess we just can't overlap, which is absolutely fine. Uh, right to the wing, and then the left. I almost messed up just because of where I was looking. Cone, 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 and then cone. So we want to rotate these cones. One, two, three, and four. And spread. Uh, get off me. Need to tactician this. It's not. Dang. So it's literally like using dead phoenixes here. I'm guessing that's what those are. Um, there's some AoEs on the side. Growing. Splitting people up. Okay. Uh, this was the AoE. That's okay. Experimental char plume, which one was that? Oh, the uh, raid white. It's just the uh, AoEs on everyone. Experimental fire plume, we move out. Because there's no orbs, no orbs, we move out. Yeah. Okay, I've got that one. No orbs, we move out. Yep. Um, now what? Fire in the middle. With AoEs. That reminds me of Suzaku. A lot. Uh, I forget the name of it. But, you know, she charges across the middle and everyone has to spread from the sides with the AoEs. Legend Flight. There's one there. Okay, so we want to go counter, or, or actually clockwise for this one. And now it's got the orb, so we head into the second spot. And then when this happens, it's got some more birds on it, or, you know, the, the other black ones. Dropping some AoEs, Devouring Brand is going to consume most of it, separating people into quadrants. Dark and Fire. Oh, we don't have a DPS in every zone. Uh, I'm going to grab this one. One left. So on Savage, we're going to have to actually separate people properly. Uh, that's fine. We just uh, preposition for that. Scorch exaltation.
experimental char boom. Uh, yeah, okay, so char boom to one where we all get the AoEs. Fire plume, we move out, there's no orbs. Okay, no orbs move out. Oh my god. Yeah, we're getting healer LB3 in here. That is okay. Where's that? Over there, we're gonna have to spread. This this fight's gonna be this this fight's gonna be hard. I know, but it's fun. <laughs> I like it. I like this fight a lot. Holy shit, I like it. There's gonna be a lot to watch out for. Um, is it going? Yeah, okay, it's going. Uh, can I be clockwise this time? One, two, three, and four. That's gonna be fun. Uh, and then we've got the orbs around the outside that go clockwise every time by the looks of it. Looks like they always go clockwise, then we head out. I wonder if they don't go clockwise sometimes. Um, it shouldn't make a difference anyway. Fire is consuming the field. I'm gonna head to the bottom right here. Just so we can always have a DPS in the zone. Ah, there's no DPS down here. Or I guess maybe, maybe it doesn't always go in the DPS. Interesting. Why ever not? Left cinder wing, we go to the right side. I thought that that would always go on four DPS plays, does that make sense? But maybe it's one tank, two DPS, and one healer. I guess that's fine. We just have to make sure the position is okay. Oh, they have markers on them, that's it. They have markers one, two, three, and four. So we can always. Actually, I don't know. I was thinking we could always just, you know, after um, the fire has gone away, we could always just separate into the 1, 2, 3, 4 from left to right, bottom, uh, top to bottom. Um, but that might not actually be possible, because in Savage they might have that, um, the, the, the quadrant fires stay up the entire time. So then we would have to separate. Maybe in Savage it is always on the DPS. I am not sure. That was a good fight though. I'm, I'm excited to see that one. The only one I've seen that doesn't look like it'll be that big of a pain so far is the first one that looks like it'll be relatively easy, which is usually how they always start these things. Oh, first one being pretty easy, but yeah. So now we're uh, interning that one. That was fun. Yep, that's been caged, and now we move on to, I'm assuming, the big boss of Aspidelos. The Key Warden. Okay, let's uh, try and get some of these. So, should be able to get three pieces of gear before... Uh, yeah, should just be... Should be able to get three pieces of gear before Savage comes out. Uh, this piece next week and then the week that it does come out. Um, so I should be able to get the legs, the torso, and then, um, heads, gloves, or one of those, yeah. With that, the phoenix is shackled once more. 
However, there is yet the matter of this arena. As you've told us, there is but one person in Asphodelos with the ability and authority to wield such magics. Though fortunately, it appears he has saved us of the trouble of finding him. The Key Warden. A contemptible display, as, bef as befits an inferior specimen. Even so, I expected it would at least delay your advance. Imagine my surprise when I saw the chains of interment drag the phoenix back to its cage. Either the bird is more a failure than its creators cared to admit, or you are no mean trespassers. I had hoped our suspicions were misplaced. But alas. Yeah, it's that guy. What a dick. Keyword Hesperos. Why? Why have you brought such chaos to your beloved Pandemonium? Pandemonium. Pitless. Impenetrable. And utterly steadfast. Unlike those charged with its keeping. What has possessed you? I don't understand. Oh. Oh, Erichthonios. Must you pester me with these inane questions? Think for yourself. Surely you can master a theory or two with that dim wit of yours. Then again, you never have been one for insight. What, Master La Brea suffers your mediocrity, I shall never understand. What a dick. You, you may look like him, but you're not the Hesperos I know. Something's warped you too, from the inside out. The keyword I knew had compassion for all those under his charge, be they clad in robes or shackled in chains. Was that all fast? Did you hide your contempt for us all these years? Those who were content to merely glimpse the water's surface are doomed to be dragged into its depths. You prove my opinion of you with every word. My mind is clearer than it has ever been. Even now, seeing you feed the grasp for answers makes the bile rise in my throat. Such wasted potential to be son to Master Lahabre, yet no more skilled with magic than a newborn babe. He's Lahabre's son, bro. What the foot? But of course, it's always been about Lahabre. Silence. You are not worthy to utter his name. Yo, so this guy's just a massive sin for Lahabrain. For once, be grateful to witness a feat beyond your meager abilities. Beyond your shallow reckoning, I have slipped the surly bonds of mortality. I have become one with our mythic creations and rid myself of imperfections. I stand upon the threshold of Godhood. As the Hemethos, a uh, Hemethi, Hemethios, shall I serve Master Lahabrea ever faithfully unto the end of days. So this guy just wants to fuck Lahabrea. Okay. That's chill. Could you be, do it in private though? You don't have to drag us into your shit or anyone else. And he shall require no other. I think not. Oh my god. This. <laughs> what a Chad. That actual Giga Chad move. Are you so blinded by arrogance that you've lost sight of what it means to serve? 
Eric Fenios is more capable than you could ever know. It was thanks to his instruction that I was able to master the art of interment, both how to wield it and how to break free of it. Yeah, what the fuck do you want, mate? Toby, let us quit this place. Whatever poison has corrupted Hesperos's mind is plain his power far eclipses our own. We must have time to gather our strength. <laughs> Weaklings though they may be, it takes a singular aptitude to master impairment so quickly, to say nothing of how swiftly that familiar laid low the foreigners. Regardless, their noble aims will be their undoing. Where they fritter away their strength in calming the beasts of, Asphor uh, of Asphrodelos, I continue my work, even should they survive long enough to reach the heart of my domain, nor shall await but doom. I eagerly await your arrival, Erythonios. Even dullards have their uses. What a bitch ass cop. What a bitch ass cock ass bitch. Where you at, Themis? What up, my guy? My dark suspicions have been re realized. We face the key ward of Asphodelus himself. More than that revelation, however, Eric Thonios worries me. He loved Hesperos for his compassion, uh, but received naught but scorn from whatever the key ward has become. He has said little since, uh, little since our return. I only hope that the shock of recent events does not prove to be a death knell for his resolve. Um, let's go for the crit ones again. Big crits. Alright, so that was... <laughs> that raid was extremely enjoyable. And Hesperos is a big old bitch. And that's also where we're going to leave it for the third part, moving into the fourth and final part next time. I'm really excited to try out all these raids out in Savage. It's going to be really good. It's only two weeks away! Only two weeks. And then, oh, that 6.05 patch is going to be pretty big as well, because we get portals as well in the maps. Um, and a bunch of other stuff too, but yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited to do all this in Savage. I I'm gonna be saying that like at the end of every one of these episodes, but yeah, it's gonna be good. I'll see you all next time though, and bye bye!